Hi there, everybody. Sorry. Uh, bear with me. I'm a warrior, not a poet. We have a code in the army amongst uh, our brothers and sisters. Factus non verba means deeds, not words. That means it's one thing to say something about the world. It's one thing to talk. It's one thing to talk about how miserable a place is and the travesties that are occurring there. And it's another thing to temper your words with action. And behind you sit 157 portraits of men and women, sons and daughters, loved ones, family that have paid that price by tempering their words with action. Contrary to popular belief, since 2002, the Canadian military has been in a state of war. A lot of people call it a peacemaking operation or peace support. We're in a fight. We're in a fight against a hardened, determined enemy. An enemy who uses tyranny, hunger, and fear as its weapons. And 157 of my brothers and sisters went there and they said they will not stand for that. And they put their lives on the line. What this does, and Dave, thank you, what this memorial, not an art piece, a memorial, what this does is it turns 157 soldiers that maybe made 30 seconds on the news into faces and stories. I walk up there and I see men that I fought beside, men that led me, men that mentored me as a private, and I feel honored to be here now doing this for them. Also what we must remember is that the mission continues. Still today, well, we're sizing down, but traditionally there has been up to 3,000 Canadian soldiers deployed around the world at any given time. So when you go home to your nice warm house and your nice dinner, think about the boys that are out in Panjway and Zari District and Maywand and Sierra Leone, and think about those soldiers that aren't home right now and they're still doing the job. The job must continue. Uh, support our troops, and uh, that's all I gotta say. Thank you.